Hello dears, just another haul video today. So, got this gorgeous bracelet, second hand. I think it was about $6. Anyway, it's got these lovely cameos on it. If you've seen enough of my videos, you've noticed how many cameos I wear. Um, I'm pretty sure these are plastic, but they've got the look of the old shell cameos. And um, it fits my wrist really well. It's really cute. I'm not sure how old that is. If anyone knows about those, let me know. So then uh, I got this DVD. Now this isn't from a secondhand shop, but it's from a DVD shop that sells some secondhand DVDs. But anyway, I had to share it because I was really excited to find it. It's The Moonstone. Uh, that's from the Walkie Collins book. Now I've read The Woman in White and I've seen the most recent TV series of it, which has Jesse Buckley in it and is so amazing. You should see that. And I really love that, so I'm excited to see the Moonstone. Um, and these secondhand books got some really nice, some really lovely embossed images in the front. But anyway, it's Edgar Allan Poe. Look at the beautiful interior, beautiful uh, pieces. And this was uh, given to Prudence from Clive in 1944. Just gives you a bit of the idea about the age of it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Really lovely. And look. Our first issue of this edition 1927, but not what date this actual edition is. And I think that was the Everyman Library one. I've seen a few of those old ones around. And then this one, Tennyson's Poetical Works. But it's specially embossed, and that's actually, you can feel it's actually embossed in for Abbotsley School. And at the front, it said there was a prize awarded to Joyce Loden, or Loder, Form 3, December 1920, for needlework, which is fascinating. And this one's got all the old etching plate type illustrations in it. Really lovely edition. So the other one was I think four dollars, and this one was only ten, which is amazing. Um, got this. I I keep on looking for other ones in the series, and I've unfortunately grabbed one that I already had. But the Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr is one of my favourite series of all time. It's um, uh, one of the original, uh, well not original, or not eighties original. But it's one of the uh, 2000s original um, urban fantasy fairy revival, I should call it. Basically, in around, so this one's about 2011. In 2000s, the um, urban fantasy really made a big comeback with Cassandra Clare, other authors like that, Holly Black. Um, this writer did some of the best fairy tale ones based around her own um, world of the Fae. Really beautiful works. Uh, then we have Akira the Beginning. And it's the colour version. Akira was actually one of the first animes, possibly the first anime I ever saw. I'm um, really looking forward to this. And then this little book, Dates to Remember. <laughs> it's a really cute overdressed llama. Um, so that's just like a memory book to put dates in. And then we've got uh, these plate sets. Now I'm not sure these three are actually from the same set as the others. They look a little bit different. But we've got three little plates. Royal Staffordshire Pottery England Honey Glaze. These are two dollars each. And then these bowls. Yeah, this has got a different stamp on the back. These are Violets by Ridgeway. But also the Staffordshire, so it might actually be by the same one, but it hasn't got the... That one doesn't have a... But that one's got the Royal Staffordshire Pottery symbol, and this one doesn't. But it's very similar. And then there's two of these ones. And then there's three of these ones. These also say Ridgeway Staffordshire Made in England. So slightly bigger plates. Now violets are one of my favourite flowers. Um, 
I have them on my tattoo here. I also have three, I think, maybe four now, different sets of cups and saucers that have violets on them. So it's very much a thing I'm trying to collect second hand when I can get it cheap. So yeah, here are my um, three different violet cups. There are saucers with them too. Um, they're stacked separately, so I've just got out the cups. So we've got this one. And this one is Regency English Bone China. It's got this wonderful picture of a man rather foppishly holding a handkerchief and some eyeglasses on a stick. And they've got this one, which has got beautiful gold around the outside. I got that from a friend. And the same violet pattern on the inside. And that's Royal Standard Fine Bone China. And I've got this one, which has got a larger print of violets. And it's got violets in lots of different poses. <laughs> poses. Um, and this is Hammersley & Co. Longton Stoke-on-Trent, England. So yeah, that's all my violet things. Hopefully I'll find more over time. And then, last but not least, we've got the official Maxwell Williams William Morris cups. Now, I already have two of these in the Strawberry Thief in the two different colours, but they were three dollars, so I couldn't pass up some more. But I also have these two, which I do not have, and these are also William Morris patterns. This one's a single stem, and this one says Granville. And neither of these did I have before, so that's quite exciting. Obviously, Strawberry Thief remains my favourite. <laughs> and I have some Strawberry Thief fabric, which I need to get around to making cushion covers of. Anyway, so that was my little haul. Maybe not such a little haul. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all these things. Let me know what your favourite is. Bye!